It's good to be with you guys. Um, excited about the season. Um, I want to thank the players for all the hard work and effort they put in. A lot of tough conversations this week. Um, letting some, some really good players go. It's a team effort 100% because when you look at our roster, you know, when we talk about using every avenue to build this team, I think when you look at our final roster, you see that. We've literally used every avenue. Excited to move forward, excited about the season. Um, but ultimately, excitement doesn't win games. It's preparation, execution, and discipline that win the game. So got a really tough matchup week one. We're excited to be in the conversation as, as uh, one of the better teams in the league. Um, but again, you know, we've, uh, we've, like I said earlier, excitement doesn't win games. We've, we've, got, a, we've got a lot to prove. The next step is is going out there and proving it on Sundays and winning games and winning division games. And so um, we're, we're jumping right into the fire on first, first game of the year. We're not running. We're hiding from any expectations that are out there. You know, I think when the dust settles, you, know, you, you want to be in the conversation as one of those, uh, one of those teams um, that can compete for a Super Bowl. Um, you know, uh, you get a ticket into the dance and anything happens. And so I think, uh, I think with the training camp we've had, I think the job that the players have done, the job that the coaching staff has done, um, we're, we're ready. I think the common denominator between those Super Bowl teams in, in Baltimore and Philly was it started in the locker room. It started with great leadership, and it was a great combination of personalities, but just great people. I mean, great guys in those locker rooms. And, um, you know, those are those are player-driven locker rooms and and. and you know, we're just fantastic people and leaders. And so um, you feel that chemistry when you walk out there, when you come into the building every day. There's, there's really good chemistry. And I, I know you guys have heard me say the most important room is the locker room and uh, feel, feel like this locker room is in a good place. I've seen um, from the very beginning of my career how important it is to have a strong relationship between the top personnel person and the, and the head coach. It's critical. And, you know, the relationship that I've been able to, to build with Robert, um, it's it's been it's been fun. You know, he's uh, his, his energy is infectious, and how thoughtful he is, um, uh, how communicative he is as a leader. Um, it, it's it's been great to be around him. We and it's great because you know, having not worked together prior to here, we can bounce different ideas and philosophies and things that we've been around and kind of come together to do what's best for the New York Jets. Aaron came here to win. You know, I think Aaron, um, and I, I'm not, I don't want to put words in Aaron's mouth. I think Aaron's, Aaron's talked about it, but uh, um, Aaron obviously, obviously saw something in this group that made him want to be a part of it. And so, um, you know, he came here for a reason. We're all doing this for a reason. I see an uh, unbelievable competitor, uh, fiery, um, that just he, he still <laughs> he wants to go out there and uh, and do a lot of damage. There's these throws that are just uh, unbelievable, unreal, tight window throws, uh, accuracy, uh, the the delivery, uh, the compact quick delivery balls just rifled out of his hands. Decision making, it's uh, yeah, it's I said it before, but it's it's surreal. The, the leadership approach, I go back to the same word, the authenticity, or just him being able to, to really get real with these guys and, and um, uh, build, these, build these relationships with, you know, with first- and second-year players that grew up watching him play. But he's able to, to relate with them and you know, have the special handshakes and you know, have, these, have these real bonds with these, these guys. It's uh, it, it again. It's been it's been fun to watch when you when you bring a, a player like him in. It's going to raise raise the level of everybody, and not just offense. You know, he's he's he does it defensively too. On the D line specifically, uh, we, we've got a we've got a bunch of junkyard dogs, man. They 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 play so hard. I mean, it's a race to the ball. It's a race to the quarterback. Um, the effort, the motor, the mentality, the explosiveness. I'm excited about this offensive line. You know, we're getting healthy at the right time. Adding Dwayne back to practice has been awesome. And uh, he's such a great leader in the group. Um, you know, Makai's had a great training camp. It was good to see him just uh, go out and do what he does and um, look like rookie Makai again, which I think everyone that was here for rookie Makai 
saw what, what he what he can do. Excited about the wide receiver room. Um, I feel like the wide receiver room is a little symbolic of our our team because it's a it's a group it's a unique group of mix of vets and young players. It's a pretty cool group. Why'd you feel the need to um, add Dallin Cook? Well, I think it's an opportunity to add another Pro Bowl caliber player to the roster, um, and another player that was was excited to come here, um, and a player that we feel is a difference maker.